Hi, I'm Grant Show. And I'm Dania Ramirez from Devious Mates. And we're coming at you live from Perez TV. This new therapist could tell that I needed to be on mood stabilizers within five minutes. It took him that long? We have never seen a maid quite like you. I need to understand what is going on in the house. <gasps> the more money they get, the crazier they get. Get down! Not as smart as I am. Hold on, this is getting complicated. Honestly, I feel like every time you watch Devious Maids, you're at the edge of your of your seat. You just like don't ever know what to expect. Um, it's it's a it's a show for everybody. I know there's not just for women, but also for men. Yeah. It's a little bit of everything for everyone. The I, mystery keeps everybody on, at the edge of their seat. I'll tell you what I like about the show. When I'm watching it, my experience is I just like everyone on it. I like the people. I enjoy watching them. I I want to bring them into my my, my living room every every weekend and see what's going on with them. Yeah, it's been really it's been really cool. I, I know um, it's a great show to watch with your friends and and it's a it's an excuse for everyone to kind of get together. I know I started cooking every Sunday and inviting people over my house. There's a little bit of everything for everyone. Mrs. Westmore. Rosie, be quiet. We're rolling. But the baby. What about the baby? Is something wrong? No, he's fine. He just said his first word. <gasps> oh my God! What did he say? He called me mama. It's overwhelming um, for me to just like, especially with the live tweeting, because I feel like now it's almost like theater, like where you get immediate gratification. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so every time there's a scene that people really like, they really respond to it. I know every time that we and you have a scene, I always get Team Sposy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get a bunch of tweets, Team Sposy, we love you guys. Uh, so that's been really nice. And you know, it's really humbling to get everybody everybody's reaction being positive. Yeah, it's nice. We are the two really nice good, guys, good aren't guys. we? <laughs> hey, else, we're everyone, flawed though, we make mistakes. Sure, but our intents, our intentions are like super nice and super pure, super sweet. Sometimes you get caught in the middle of something, but <laughs> don't you think? Yeah, no, I think Spence and, and Rosie are really yeah. good-hearted, good, loving people. Yeah. But I do think there's a, there's a motherly, I guess, yeah. You know, a quality to Rosie yeah. that I that I kind of have, and there's a lot of moments when I'm reading the script, and you know, English is my second language, so there's a lot of moments that Rosie is really funny, and she doesn't really even realize it. I think there was a, a line where I say, I don't know who the Piper is. Yeah. But, <laughs> but don't tell him neither. Like literally, probably like an hour before we shot that scene, I had a call on my husband, and I was like, What does a Piper mean? <laughs> Oh, you didn't know that? <laughs> no, I had never heard that before. <laughs> That's awesome. I guess I'm a little busy like that. Well, sometimes. and I play a uh, soap opera actor on a <laughs> soap opera, so, you know, it's been tough for me. I love, you know, when you watch a show for many years, the good thing about having a good relationship and a good love interest is the fact that your, your quest is to be happy and to be in love. So if you solve that right away, then there's really no place to go. So I love to play around with the real emotions of a real relationship and kind of, you know, that quest of like wanting to be together and not being able to be together and maybe other obstacles getting in the way of them being together. I love all the storylines. That's the thing about, you know, usually when I watch myself on television, I'm like terrified. I don't want to watch, I'm like, oh God, and then you're criticizing you know, the shows that you're on. And this is a show that I I really get lost in all the storylines. I'm really loving each and every one of them. And God, there's so many good characters. Adrian, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's fun, <laughs> yeah. fun, fun. I think I think I definitely play Rebecca Wasaki's character, Mrs. Evelyn Powell. Because she's so, you know, my character is so different from that. So if I had a chance to do something else, I would want to do something completely yeah, the opposite. We, we I also have an agenda. Adrian, mine is to not do housework. We could hire someone else. I finally have a maid who can cook and conjugate English verbs. If you think I'm letting her go, you're crazy. The most fun for me is just uh, just playing around. When, when all the girls get together, we are all Latin, so we all, we're all very loud. So it's always really funny to see everyone, like every director that comes in, try to like calm us down or say, you know, you gotta let them finish their line before you come in. So that's always a lot of fun. He had an erection? What did you say? What could I say? Congratulations, I got out of there. Congratulations? He's very big. Like this? More like... 
Yes. I don't see too many Latino women on television, so I think that's groundbreaking within itself. The fact that we have five Latino women as leads of a show, and we're all very different. We're all representing five very different kinds of women, um, and that we get to play three-dimensional characters. I think that is groundbreaking. This is TV is made. This is a different kind of show. We're giving you answers. I know that Mark really wants to try to attack a different kind of mystery. I don't know whether that's going to be another murder or another uh, something else. I, I don't know what that's going to end up being. I know it's going to be completely different than this season and by the season finale of this show um, he completely pulls the rug from underneath you and you haven't seen because you no, haven't seen that no, stuff. There was, they actually changed the ending yeah. from what I know. It's, so. it's basically it's one of those things that you're like what? just happened. It's just been so much fun. It's been a lot this of fun. This is the most fun I've had in a lot of years. This is the most fun I've had um, working on a television show I think ever. <laughs> Um, and, and I'm just really proud of it, you know, I'm really proud of it and uh, I get to work with amazing people, Grant, you're incredible, so it's, it's been a really great journey. Hi, I'm Dani Ramirez, I want you all to stay tuned for more devious behavior on Devious Mates. Sunday night, lifetime, 10 o'clock.